the voters have overwhelmingly said, let's hold the sheriff accountable and let's, you know, move money out of the carceral system into community based care. It's now a matter of just getting the county to actually implement that. Is there any sort of like community oversight from that? Yes. And uh, like uh, yeah. transparency with that, because that's my big concern with just handing people blank checks, essentially, is that a lot of it, it can be, there will all, there will be people who want to take advantage and abuse it, unfortunately. We have two ongoing themes on this show. Okay. It's, it, one of them was the causes of <laughs> violence and uh, community problems. Okay. And I'm glad that you focused on the environment as the chief uh, cause of uh, people's difficulties in life. Um, and the other one is, uh, why aren't these problems being fixed? Yeah. And <laughs> yeah. that seems to be in part because of the sluggishness of the bureaucracy. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, it, because it's clear that people want this. On Holly Mitchell's website, there it is. It's care first, jails last, yeah. the slogan. Um, and uh, the other one is uh, where the money's going and the need to uh, have uh, control over that or some measure of power over that from the public's perspective. Yeah, I think that brings up a couple different things you know the county's not writing blank checks to anyone mm -hmm. like in order to receive money from the county through what is formerly measure j now known as care first community investment mm -hmm. there are all of these hoops that organizations have to jump through like nobody is just getting a blank check in fact actually getting money and contracting with the county to be a service provider to be receiving county money it is just so prohibitive. Like small organizations are basically written out of the county contracting equation because they don't have the infrastructure. Maybe they employ formerly incarcerated folks. And you know that's something that we as Di at Dignity and Power Now, we are specifically about uplifting and developing leadership of formerly incarcerated people and their families in Dignity and Power Now, I, we have a lot of formerly incarcerated folks who lead the work um, in our organization. And to contract with the county, some county uh, contracting requirements basically say if you have a criminal record, we're not going to contract with you. So orgs that actually should need the money the most and should wow. be receiving the money. So just a criminal record regardless of what the crime was, even if it wasn't even violent. Poten potentially, yes. Wow, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, and so there is a oversight body that was created by the county called Care First Community Investment Advisory Body, mm -hmm. CFCI. And this is a community advisory body. But again, you have to be appointed to this by either a board of supervisor or um, you know another county department. And this, this body meets every other week and provides recommendations to the county on where this Measure J money should go. And so it is a collaborative process with this advisory body saying, okay, our priority is permanent support and housing. Our next priority is harm reduction. Um, our next priority is mental health care. They, they parse this out and say this amount of money should go here, and then it's passed along to the the CEO of LA County, um, Fizia Davenport. A lot of people don't know that LA County is a CEO, and the CEO actually is the one who signs the checks, you know, decides the budget. Mm -hmm. And what has happened is that the Care First Community Investment Advisory Body has provided recommendations to the county about where the Measure J money should go. And in some instances, the CEO has just shut that down said, no, okay, you, you're recommending 50, 000, I mean, $50 million go to harm reduction and safe injection sites. Well, actually, we're not going to do that. We're going to give that $50 million to interim housing, which is great. Right. But where is the accountability there if the community advisory body is recommending right. this and then the CEO is just shutting that down? then what's even the point of having right. community recommendations? 